Is the era of the megachurch over? Oh, that's a controversial thing to say, isn't it? Huh. The thing is, uh, I don't know about you, I don't have a thing against large churches at all. The way I see it is the more people saved, the better. God's out for people to get saved. The church in Ephesus was reputed to be 50,000 strong, so God doesn't have a problem with size, but maybe he's dealing with some of the things in our models that aren't quite where they should be. Hmm. I'm gonna read some of it. It's, it's not mine, it's by a prophetic guy. I, I really enjoy his ministry. From Australia, Steve Penny, he's a proper straight-talking Aussie. Met him a couple of times, love his ministry to bits. And I know that he, like me, is a friend of the mega churches. He preaches in some of the most well-known mega churches out there. But listen to what he said the other day. As he was talking, one of his posts on Instagram said this, the reset of the church is coming. And of course, you'll know from my book, The Divine Reset, that I completely agree there's a reset going on. Listen to what he said about mega churches. He says this, the 20th century obsession with mega church has now come to an end. Watch God use the controls of the world to send the church into real and authentic small groups. Not yet, as people are still blind to what is coming and see no need to become genuine in their Christian walk. The current preaching is all about restoring what we had before. Sadly, we can never go back to what was yesterday's season. But soon, the small group will flourish as the place of real love, real faith, real spirituality, real support, real humility, and real togetherness. The syndrome of size is finished. I think something is bubbling and struggling in the mega church. I know from some of my conversations with leaders of large churches that they were finding, even before the pandemic, that the amount of people getting saved through that model was going down and down. And the frustrations of how do you turn people that raise a hand in a service to real disciples was getting harder and harder. Something needed to change. Uh, I suppose in our church, we were running after a larger church model simply because we got to a certain size and what churches have done for decades is you just keep buying a bigger box for so more people can come to church. That's good, right? But when you know and you can sense and you, you, you know from your statistics even, it's getting more and more transfer growth. It's getting less and less discipleship. And in the commuter Western world, it's getting more and more fragmented and we ain't gonna go too far unless we can have genuine unity. That's brothers that dwell together, not just go to church services together. Something needed to happen. And I'm glad that God drew a line in the sand and gave people like me time to think and go, what's God saying about the big church model? Now, I believe some people will be very anointed to put big church together well. And it's discipleship and it's godly, because heck, we, we got you know seven billion people we wanna see saved, right? We're gonna have to have some big churches to do that. But also, there's something beautiful rising up about small, the value of small. In the future, I believe small will outstrip the big. Small will have a pace to it. The pioneers are gonna be in smaller places that run in remarkable ways. Some of the most profound moves of God are gonna hit small communities and they begin to see ripples of transformation. Why, a lot of people that have a smaller setup are not obsessed about building empires or owning everything that they influence. No, in the future, you won't have to own to influence. You won't have to build empire to prove your fruitfulness us, we'll realize we're one church, one team. So when somebody moves from my church to another church, the church hasn't shrunk. He's just moving around the furniture. Let's start to get relaxed about the fact that we're one team. Let's get some of our empire building models out of our hearts and begin to run more truly in the things of God. Now, this is going to be painful for some guys with big mortgages and models that they've been driving for a couple of decades, for them to sit down and go, is this really the healthiest way to build? It's gonna be a tough journey for some. Hmm. 
Some will be graced to make it, but we've got to be true to ourselves and know when God is calling us to turn a corner with him and head off in a new industrial revolution, a new kingdom revolution, a new kingdom innovation time with him. Something's changing in the mega churches. Ha, Steve Penny, great guy to follow. I'll put the link to his Instagram, Instagram account in the details with this program. Follow him, you may just get inspired. I hope you got something from that. Uh, I keep uploading these every day at midday at the moment, but if you wanna get the full prophetic word straight away, come and join our online learning community, The Tribe. We've got 700 modules of teaching on the prophetic, leadership, worship, creativity, mental health, all kinds of stuff, uh, just to help you grow in God. We've got Zoom sessions together. We've got books that you can receive. There is currently 50% off uh, the annual memberships at The Tribe for tiers one and two. Come and join us and let's grow in this prophetic journey together. Hey, but if not, See you midday tomorrow and let's have a remarkable time listening to God's voice.